Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio, the island. My name, of course, is Open Potato, and I think it's just worth, uh, you know, taking a little second right now to acknowledge that the addition of this extra sorting system has meant, well, it, I, it should mean that we are producing, you know, everything constantly, theoretically. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I hope it is. But yeah, super, super happy with the way that that whole sorting system ended up working itself out. Um, still have slight problems with uh, with with the good old Mr. Biters, but we're, we're trying to avoid that. You know, we're, we're trying to get away from that, that whole sort of thing. Let's pop some iron in there. We can't put copper in there because remember when we tried that last time? Yeah, it didn't didn't really work so so darn darned well. Yeah, real shame. Um, this area needs to be fixed, and it probably will be eventually, but not now because that's that's a job for another day. That's that's absolutely not a job for today. Today, I had the idea that we could try and attempt, just attempt to get ourselves a little bit more of the thing that is referred to. As black gold that's right we're gonna try going after a little bit of oil uh, to quench our very 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 thirsty thirsty oil mouth so to speak uh, this can be taken up there we go don't need that anymore and I can pop you guys in there perfect uh, all right yes so we need to identify firstly where the oil actually is let's turn the alt view off for that um, and then we need to go after it and going after it is going to be slightly challenging I think looks like there's a couple of patches down there I did see a couple of patches down in the very very bottom left hand corner there's a little pocket over over there up at the top of the island over there apart from that nowhere nowhere else hmm okay well first things first let's Let's uh, let's get ourselves another radar. Let's hop on in here. Except, you know, I would actually I would actually quite like to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of fuel, you know, because we need fuel. We we simply need fuel. Uh, boom, and hop in. Away we go. We built ourselves a radar. Yeah, I've just built myself a radar. Whoa, 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 whoa. why is that area? Oh shit, I'll need to check that out, but two objects are being damaged. Nothing I can really do about that, to be honest. I don't really care. Not, not my job description to care, I'll be honest. So, radar, if we stick this down, fingers crossed, should extend our range of, uh, of actually knowing what's what a little bit. You know, we can extend our map over just, uh, just a titch. I don't really know if it's worth going to an oil deposit if there is only too little whoa I don't really know if it's worth going to an oil deposit if there's only two two wells that we can possibly place I mean it's it's good to do I reckon but it just seems rather pointless it seems rather rather pointless yeah so why is this area suddenly in the midst of a power cut this should not be happening. Really should not be happening. This is just completely disconnected. I mean, okay. I'm glad that we spotted this right now. Otherwise, we would be in a serious, serious pickle in the future if we hadn't noticed this. Holy cow. There we go. All right, that should, that should sort things out quite nicely, I think. Yeah, fingers crossed. Good, yeah, but oil, I don't know, I really do not know, and I've been thinking about this for a long, long time, and I don't know where the best place to go is. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, go over here. I mean, that's three, three different wells, two different wells over there, a couple of different wells down there. I think our first step needs to be this tiny little area over over yonder. It, it quite simply has to. Um, 
shit. Don't stand in front of trains, Potato. That is always a surefire way to get killed. Genuinely, if you stand in front of trains, you will die. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. Let's check out, see what's going on. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to create the infrastructure that we actually need. And uh, as soon as we've made it once, we'll be able to duplicate it. So I suppose for a whole multitude of reasons, this is going to be a, a nice first area to uh, to come and exploit. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. No, evil laugh doesn't really fit me, does it? I don't, I don't think so. Fits some people really well, and uh, I'm not one of those people. Okay. So the great thing about this is that we only need a really, 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 really small lay-by. We don't need a massive lay-by here. We just need a very, very small one, which is kind of nice. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, that we're out of we're out of big landfills. That's fine. I meant to press the rotate button. I always do that. I'm always a bit of an idiot. Okay. Over there. Can we connect this? Or are we going to have to do some wild shenanigans? I mean, we can try some wild shenanigans. I don't really know if the wild shenanigans are actually going to work, but it's worth a shot. Okay. Over there, like so, I guess. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's going to be difficult to connect that up there. As I would say, plain impossible, actually. Yeah. Don't think. Uh, don't think that's looking so good. I don't think our chances of connecting that up are looking so good. I don't think. Is there any way that we can sort of do this without uh, massively inconveniencing ourselves? I don't really know if there is. We could just take up this gate. It's probably what we're going to do, to be honest. Because let's face it, this gate is doing absolutely fuck all at the moment. There is those two turrets there, which is kind of nice, I guess. But do they have advanced ammo? One of them is five advanced ammo. The other is a hundred normal ammo, so... I'm not entirely convinced that they would be wholly effective at stopping the alien hordes that uh, are trying to attack us. Come on, come on. There we go. Sometimes, game, you are very, very fussy. Other times, I love you. Okay. That will work. If we can line that up, we can indeed. Seems to work pretty uh, pretty darned well. You know what? I don't care that it looks like an absolute shambles. It works, doesn't it? It works, doesn't it? And that's, that's what matters to me. So let's get a station. Plonk the train down. Plonk the station down. There. Perfect. Whatever. What is this called? What, what can we call this station? We'll call it uh, Oil Point... Oil point uno. Oil point uno. Obviously, it's not spell oil point uno. It's spell oil point one. Or not spell one, but it's got the number one in it. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Stop the train. That's the one that I wanted to click. Beautiful. Okay, do we have any cargo wagons? Apparently we have zero cargo wagons. Why do we have zero cargo wagons? Why do I not have enough steel to build a fucking cargo wagon? Ah, whatever. I imagine we don't have enough steel for a fucking pump jack then. That's goddamn annoying. Oh well, let's go back and get all the bloody resources that we need. We are a little bit, uh, a little bit under attack currently. Not something that I'm super happy about, but you know what? It's something that we got to put up with, I suppose, isn't it? Let's pick up a whole bunch of steel here. Let's take two pump jacks. Two pump jacks. What else? Um, Some pipe. Yeah, we'll make some pipe as soon as we 
as soon as we get there. We are going to need some walls. We've got a couple of walls with us. Robots, we're going to need robots. Nah, I don't really think that we're going to need robots. We are going to need a couple of laser turrets, though, so I'll go and get some batteries. Except we're out of batteries. Let me guess, because we're out of oil. It's basically the problem that we're, that we're having right now. Well, there's some batteries on the belt. I'll take the opportunity to, to get a couple of them. I'll snag a couple of those bad boys. And then uh, I'll continue up here. And we'll head back. We'll see if that actually works. We'll see if we've got enough, enough materials on us to actually accomplish our goal of making another oil outpost, which is kind of cool. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's make ourselves a cargo wagon. Boom. Let's plonk down our pump jacks. There and there. We are going to need some power. Power can come from up top. Easy peasy. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. We're going to need a couple of big electric poles though, so I will build them. Cancel the building of those. Okay, that goes there. That goes there like that. I do not want that turret to go there like uh, like so. Okay, run train. Go to oil point. Perfect. Stop the train. And I can probably just set you up with a route right now. So oil drop off. You'll just go to oil point and oil drop off. That's literally all you're going to do. Um... If we've got the resources, we might as well build a storage tank here so that we can just continually pump the oil out of the ground. That's the plan anyway. Okay, let's link everything up. And we'll place down one of these bad boys. And fingers crossed that this actually works. That goes there, that goes there. That goes there like so. You can be fill crude oil barrel. Beautiful. That's the one that we want. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Okay, so after that, we're going to need to buffer. We're going to need to buffer in some form of a chest. I'll make a steel chest, especially for this occasion. Not like it A, it matters, or B, is going to have a huge impact, but whatever. Um, and then, I guess we just fill it up. <laughs> Do we want to make a ridiculously, a ridiculously complex way of loading up this, uh, this train here? I mean, that works. I'd question whether it's entirely necessary, but fuck it. Let's do something, let's do something ridiculously daft. You know what, let's make more steel chests as well. Boom, let's put steel chests every little bit of the process, because why not? Why not, folks? Why the hell not? Okay, how far are big electric poles going to be able to go? Should be able to do pretty well with these bad boys. Yeah, if I go up there, yeah, we should be fine. As in, it should work pretty darned well. Oh, quickly, while I'm here, let me build a couple signals because we're going to need to make sure that our trains can get past while we're uh, while we're working on this there we go and that goes there that goes there that goes there yeah that seems to work just fine perfect and yet yeah, two trains are going to go past at once beautiful to see beautiful to see it's good that we were able to identify that and just make sure that you know trains weren't getting stuck completely unnecessarily you know it's all right if trains are stuck for a reason but if they're stuck for no reason at all that's pretty stupid oh there was a sweet spot there beautiful where we link up the two power networks if i'm not mistaken that should actually be producing oil and we should be golden actually Shit, we need barrels. I completely forgot about barrels. Okay, so this is this is going to have to be a somewhat more complicated process. Um, 
We're going to have to get a smart inserter over here. We're going to have to say, okay, you take empty barrel. Right? Theoretically. Take empty barrel. Where is it? Crude oil barrel, empty barrel. Yeah, so all we're going to do is we're going to get the oil coming in here. Bish, bash, bosh. It works perfectly. Oh, steel. Let's let's make some oil barrels right now, I guess. There we go. It gets stuck on a belt or something. Could be a series of chests, but I don't really care about that. And that can go in there like that. You can be moved over by just a smidge so that it works a lot better. And we should be absolutely fine. We should have four oil barrels on here now. Perfect. Um, run the train, go to station. Yeah, so obviously it's not going to work immediately. As in, we're going to have to go and manually create a whole bunch of oil barrels. But it's a good proof of concept and it really, really does work, I think. Really, really does work. Let's see if it actually you know, does as it says it's going to do. Yep, yeah, so the oil barrels come in here. They get loaded up, and yeah, they get turned into crude oil. Stop the train, let's drive for a little bit, and we'll resume the train in just a second. But yeah, really very, very happy with that, actually. Okay, how many oil barrels can we make now? A lot. Okay, we can make a lot, lot, lot. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, you're going to crash. Oh, you're not going to crash. You're going to work. I'll just run the train. Whatever. Run it. Just so that we can send it around a little bit while I make some minor modifications here. So we've got four oil barrels here. Um, let's get rid of this side of things because we don't actually need this side of things. Like I was massively overestimating the amount of oil that is going to be on a single train. So stop this train here. And on the other side, we're going to have some inserters that are going there, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, is that... I'm just trying to work out what works best here. Let's get some underground belts. What the heck? We need to check that out in a minute. We'll check that in a minute. Okay. There we go. Yeah, does that work? I think we may need to replace that with a smart inserter, just in case. So we'll tell you to only take out empty barrels. Yeah, and you guys are only going to take out full barrels of crude oil. I think that should work. Full barrel. Full barrel. Wait, what? What the fuck? What the f fuck? Did I miscount this? Hope I didn't. Run the train. We'll run it. We'll see what happens. Wait, what the fuck? Why are there... Why are there issues here? Is it too far away? Yeah, so what the fuck is the problem? What the fuck is the problem here? Is it all working? Is it all working fine? I hope it is. I bloody well hope it is. Let's give it a test run before we end the episode, just to make sure that we actually know what's going on. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait here for a little bit for the nonsense to stop seven objects are missing repair packs are we out of repair packs over there i think we just might have uh, a little bit of a shortage of robots so to speak because you know they get destroyed quite easily uh, so we've got to we've got to keep that in mind we've got to keep that in mind okay let's zip around at a million miles an hour we've got 63 barrels on our person right now we've got the capacity to build 287 more should we wish to and let's see how this system actually does work 
I'm very, very hopeful that it should work uh, pretty much perfectly. Except we are running majorly low on electricity as well, so... You know, that's something that we're going to have to sort out in the next episode. But, you know, it works. It works. Our oil system has been prototyped. It's very simple, but it works, folks. And that is what is important. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Old Potato. Tune in next time for some more Factorial the Island. And until then, bye.